Hi guys and welcome to Adobe Anime Masking Tutorial. So this is the one I developed earlier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to put something like this together. So let's do that now guys. And there we go guys. I'm going to click on create. There. Now I'm going to get a map. So let's come in here. You see the the library. I'm going to go to the library so that I can get this very map that we have in here. So let's go in here. This is the tutorial from Adobe, of course, if you want to use that. Now, I'm going to come right in here. That to be on my very first one. This is the map. I'm going to grab the map, just drop it inside my scene there. Or on the stage, actually. That is the map right there on the stage. Now, let's go to the properties of the map. I'm going to change the size to, let's make that a four. Now maybe we should go for 500, 500 by 200. Okay, press enter. Now, unfortunately, you cannot see the map. So for us to be able to see the map, let's go straight into Windows here. And let's select Align there. And make sure the Align to Stage is selected. Now, click on Align here. But what we need is to click on the Horizontal Alignment. And click on the Vertical Alignment as well. And there goes our map that is fine so in here i'm just going to type in map right in there there so the layer now has what's known as map so let's create another layer i'm going to add another layer this other layer first of all let's close this i'm going to come in here you see where we have the oval tool okay let's see let's see the color for the oval tool i'm going to change that color let's change the color first to yeah that's good all right now come right down here lock this up so that I wouldn't make any mistake click on the over tool and right here I'm just going to draw just click on hold on to the shift key and just draw that much yeah, that is meant to be our planet Earth there there we go that is fine yeah before I go any further one thing I'd like to do is you see the First of all, let's hide. I'm gonna hide this. Let's hide the elk. But then let's give it a name as well. Elk. Yeah, just change the name to elk. I just want to hide it. And you see this very map. I'm going to right click on the map and let's convert it to symbol. Unlock it. It's locked. Lock this one. Right click and convert it to symbol. So I'm just gonna enter in there. The name is going to be map that's fine and the type is graphics the registration point is dead center okay so let's click on ok so it's now actually what you will refer to as symbol right that is fine now i'm going to enable on hide my the health all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come right here and see where we have let's go to 80 select 80 and just drag it down and press f5 or you can just f5 will copy it across now see right here where we have the where we have our let's move this up so that you guys can see it properly as it press f5 now i'm going to select the uncheck this select the the map okay right there so you can right click or you can insert keyframe or you can press f6 okay insert keyframe or you just can just press f6 there that's it f6 is selected i will now animate my map just move the map across just like that there we go that is good enough okay now click anywhere in between frame 1 and frame 80 let's right click and let's select create classic 20 and that's it done so all we then need to do is run if we run it nothing will happen you won't see anything at least the animation is working so end that now to get it maxed come straight to the help right here so right click in there and let's select master 
and that's it that's how you create your own mask so i'll run it now and you guys see what i'm talking about there we go look at that okay if you like you can change the design click on the document here change the color of the document to whatever you want maybe blue or whatever and just add some stars to it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add another layer and this very layer i'm going to call it stars there and go straight in here let's shoot the polyester click on the polyester and what you want to do is if you drag the polyester that's what you get we don't want that so make sure the polyester is selected come right here to the properties of the polyester come right down here you see that is the polyester there we want to change the appearance to star that is it and when you click you see you can see stars there now okay little star big stars and so on okay that is it so instead of you killing yourself adding stars you can just come in here select that all let's select use the selection tool select all of that okay here i've mistakenly set some um keyframe i'm gonna get rid of that keyframe so let's remove that little keyframe there where is the star the stars are here so i might as well clear out all of these so clear that out remove frames and this very star just press f5 to increase the size of it so that the stars are there there we go so now let's select all of these these stars that are here and i'm just going to press ctrl d so that we can copy it across there we go let's grab more ctrl d yeah move this star and control D again and that's all there is to it guys so let's run this project now okay let's try it out guys and I'm just gonna click on run here and there we go that is how you create your own masking okay with that I'm just gonna call it the end of this tutorial I suppose you guys enjoy it you all have a nice day now bye for now